So I've got all the upper parts here. Um, got the trusty Brownells vice block here for the upper receiver. Uh, the AR wrench here, which we'll use to install the barrel nut for the uh, Knight's rail. And uh, one thing I noticed is this Badger Ordnance gas block is very tight on this barrel. So I think I'm probably going to have to heat that up. But uh, first I think I'm going to install the uh, gas tube and the, the roll pin for the gas tube. And similar to the lower receiver, actually I like to use the vise to press that pin in rather than to punch it in. Um, it just makes things a little easier. So I'm going to get that set up and uh, we'll press it right in. Alright, so I've got the, the gas tube, the gas block, and the roll pin here. And I like to assemble this like I did the, the trigger guard on the lower receiver and actually press that pin into the gas block. So I'm going to get that uh, set up in the vise and show you how to, how to press it in. Alright, so you can see I've got the, the vise jaws covered here to keep from marring up the gas block. I've also got the roll pin here. And the roll pin's tapered a little bit on the end. So if you wiggle it into the gas tube here, you should be able to get it to stick enough to stay where you can maneuver it. And uh, I like to start it, hold it against the side of the vise jaw and then bring the other part of the vise to it so I can just get it started. So I've got it started here and now we can take the the gas tube, make sure the gas port is facing up. Slide that in. And the nice thing about a gas block like this is it's got two holes in here that uh, will cinch down around the barrel to keep it in place. But if you look through the bottom hole here, you can you can actually see the gas port to make sure it's lined up. So hopefully we're fairly aligned here and you can start cranking it down. All right, and that drives it in most of the way. You're gonna to wanna to finish it off with a punch to get that pin to go in the rest of the way, but it's the easiest way to get it, I think, in there in the quickest way without marring that pin up or your gas block. So I've got that brown nose vice block right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap the the upper in here and put it in the vise. And we're gonna start putting the upper together. So I've got the barrel here, and it has a little pin here that fits right in a notch in the upper receiver. So what you have to do is could be kind of tight, this one's not too bad, but wiggle it in here. Make sure that pin falls into that notch. And I want to take this uh, little collar that holds the knight's armament rail on. And slide that back here. Let it sit there while we grab the barrel nut, which has a bunch of different holes in there. And we have to get this hole lined up uh, with a gas tube hole in the top of the receiver. So, can slide this on as well. Start threading it on by hand until it gets uh, hand tight, and then I'll grab that AR wrench and torque it down the rest of the way. So, we've got the AR wrench here, which you can see it's got little prongs on it that uh, will fall into the holes that I showed you on the barrel nut. It'll allow you to tighten it down. Um, you want to make sure this stays free and you don't jam it behind the barrel nut. So you can go ahead and snug it up real good and then use a probably use a breaker bar to make sure we get uh, one of the holes in the barrel nut aligned with that gas port in the upper receiver. Alright, so I've got the gas block and gas tube here, and uh, this gas block was way too tight, so I actually had to 
sand off some of this gun coat around where the gas block goes to be able to, to get on the barrel. So after doing that, it goes on pretty decently. It's still really snug. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it on here. You wanna make sure you get that gas tube fed through the hole properly. Make sure it's lined up good. And then just slide that gas block off. And like I said, this gas block and this barrel actually has dimples in it for uh, two set screws on the bottom. So you'll want to put those in with some uh, some Loctite as well, which will probably come with the gas block. Like this one did. So all right, I got the set screw here and some Loctite. So we're just going to put a little bit of Loctite on the set screw. Feed it in. Since the barrel's already dimpled, uh, this will help lock the gas block in place and keep it from, from moving around, especially back and forth. So next, I've got the ops collar. And it's got a little set screw that goes in the bottom as well. I put a little bit of a thread locker on there already, so I'm just gonna slide that on. I want to get it aligned with the gas block set screws here. And tighten her down. So next we've got the the ops break and just to be able to see what's going on I'm gonna go ahead and take it it's got a thread protector over it so I'm gonna take that off <clears throat> and we've got a crush washer here and the concave side needs to face face the break so go ahead and slide that on start tightening the brake on now we need to time the muzzle brake. So the uh, the ports should be facing the, the sides. So we'll have to use a wrench and this crush washer will actually allow us to tighten it down and get it timed properly. So I put some painter's tape just on an uh, adjustable wrench and we'll use that to, to time this ops brake here. Pretty straightforward, tighten it down. Start cranking. You should be able to feel that uh, crush washer start giving a little bit as soon as it starts crushing. That's pretty close. I'll probably uh, adjust it just a little bit. Make sure it's timed right. But, all right, I've got the the muzzle brake timed just right. I'm gonna go ahead and put the thread protector on just so we don't mess these threads up for the suppressor. And we'll move on to uh, installing the rail system. So the barrel nut's got all these little holes in there. And part of the reason is for the gas tube, but another reason is to actually hold the rail system in there. So it comes with these little pins here. And there's a corresponding hole on the other side of the rail that... Uh, will mate to these pins. So you want to put these pins in on both sides and there's a, a specific spot for them that will match up with the rail. I'll show you that as well. So on the rail you can see there's a <clears throat> there's a hole on either side. So when this rail is installed it'll match up to those pins. That way it won't rotate at all. Alright so we've got the the rail here and uh, it's a pretty tight fit over the gas block so just want to make sure you've got it lined up fairly decently. <clears throat> make sure it clears. And then once you've got it on this far you're just going to screw this little collar in for a while. And uh, once you get it snug down by hand you'll probably want to use a strap wrench or something similar to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. You also want to make sure that you've actually got those pins in the right spot and they sink into there. 
So here's the upper. She's all ready to go, minus the bolt carrier group and the charging handle. And we're going to take her out of the vise and drop those in and uh, mate this upper to the lower. <laughs> 